Many thought the A380 was to be done and dusted in 2021 when Airbus announced plans to discontinue it with numerous airlines grounding the aircraft. But in the meantime, Singapore Airlines has returned all of its grounded A380s to the skies over the past two years and has invested another huge sum of $850 million in them, a clear indication that the airline has a long-term strategy in place for its A380s. So, what is it that Singapore Airlines is planning for their A380s? And how will it impact the aviation landscape for the next 10 to 15 years? Let's take a look. The Airbus A380 was operating smoothly prior to the global COVID-19 pandemic. But the pandemic hugely impacted the aviation sector, with airlines suffering a staggering loss of $168 billion in just 2020. As a result, airlines downsized eventually leading to the discontinuation of the A380 in 2021. Singapore Airlines, which flies to five out of the six inhabited continents from Singapore Changi Airport, brought all 12 of its Airbus A380s back into service, one by one. The first so-called White Elephant of Singapore Airlines re-entered service on November 4th, 2021, while the last of the 12 air giants made a comeback on December 7th, 2023. This also gives a sneak peek into what the fleet of Singapore Airlines will look like in the next 10 to 15 years. In addition to the existing 14 Airbus A380s, Singapore Airlines acquired five new A380 aircraft in 2017. Not only this, 2017 also saw the airline make a staggering investment of $850 million to upgrade its A380 fleet through the addition of new products in its white elephants. These new products were not a sudden inclusion. They took four years of extensive research, design, and development. Moreover, the new products were installed in all of Singapore Airlines Airbus A380 classes, from suites to business class, premium economy, and economy class. The new seat configuration has 471 seats, compared to the typical 525 seats, to enhance the passenger experience and make travel through Singapore Airlines A380s more comfortable. With the latest fittings, Singapore Airlines A380s have six spacious and highly exclusive suites in the front cabin of the upper deck. Zodiac Seats UK is in charge of producing these suites, which were designed by Pierre Jean Design Studio. The famous Poltrona Frau is the name behind the upholstering of the seats in these suites with the finest leathers. These suites come with a full flat adjustable bed and a leather chair, which prevents passengers from having to interconvert the bed and the chair. Not only this, Singapore Airlines lavish suites in its A380s come with an HD screen, a personal wardrobe, personal stowage space, a moonlighting wall, and an amenity box. The suites also have two modern looking lavatories, with one of these even having the option of a sit down vanity counter. JPA Design of the United Kingdom and Jamco Corporation of Japan collaborated to create a modern looking business class. On the other hand, Potrona Frau also covers the seats in business class. The business class seat configuration is in a 1-2-1 formation, which means each passenger in a row has direct access to the aisle. The divider between the two center seats can be fully lowered which makes it ideal for couples and families to travel in the A380's business class on Singapore Airlines. Zimflugsits GmbH has been in charge of seat manufacturing, and JPA Design is also responsible for designing the premium economy class. With its infotainment system, USB and power ports, this class also provides an enhanced experience to the passengers of Singapore Airlines. The last class, economy class, is the work of Recaro in design and manufacturing, Passengers now enjoy more legroom and an adjustable headrest for greater comfort. All these expensive upgrades in 2017 mean that Singapore Airlines has always intended to use the A380s in the long run. This claim is backed up by the airline's return of all 12 A380s following COVID-19. Another reason why we can expect Singapore Airlines A380s to be in the sky for the next 10 to 15 years is the comfort level of these giants. Ever since its introduction into the civil aviation industry, the A380 has been one of the most preferred planes for passengers. This is because the smaller aircraft do not offer air travelers the services and comfort that an A380 gives, and Singapore Airlines is well aware of this fact. 
Moreover, the Airbus A380 still remains the go-to option for other airlines, with Emirates Airlines bringing the Super Jumbo Jets back to its fleet. New commercial airlines, for example, Global Airlines, are also putting the Airbus A380 back in the skies. This makes the situation interesting. Halting its A380 operations would mean that Singapore Airlines might not remain the first choice of travelers who prefer the airline because of its A380s. This is why Singapore Airlines will continue with the white elephants for as long as it deems necessary to dominate the market. This would also give Singapore Airlines competitors an edge in terms of passenger capacity, especially on busy routes. Another reason Singapore Airlines will likely continue with the Airbus A380s is the back order of aircraft like the A321 XLR. According to the International Air Transport Association, A380s are the ideal aircraft to meet passenger demand, as global air traffic almost reaches its pre-COVID level in 2023. With increased interconnectedness among the global community, this traffic will only increase in 2024 and in the years to come. This increasing demand means that the Airbus A380 will stay in the fleet of Singapore Airlines. Moreover, the rift between Emirates and Rolls-Royce over engine maintenance offers a great opportunity for Singapore to take over Emirates in this regard. This is because Rolls-Royce will now look for other partners in the airline sector to expand its business. And that's not all. Singapore Airlines fleet will get even bigger than it already is. Currently, Singapore Airlines has a fleet of nearly 150 passenger aircraft. This number will increase as the airline plans to expand its operation owing to the growing demands of passengers. In 2017, Singapore Airlines penned a purchase agreement with Boeing for 777X and 787-10 aircraft. This deal would see the American manufacturer deliver 20 Boeing 777X and 19 Boeing 787-10 aircraft in the next few years. The agreement also enables Singapore Airlines to order 12 more aircraft and substitute the 787-10 orders with other variants of the same family if it wants to. The deal, valued at $13.8 billion, underscores Singapore Airlines' commitment to expanding its fleet with state-of-the-art aircraft to attract the maximum number of passengers. So a question arises, why did Singapore Airlines prefer Boeing over Airbus and place a huge order? The answer lies in the fact that the Boeing 777-9 has several advantages over the Airbus aircraft. Starting with the fuel average, the Boeing 777-9 is more fuel efficient as compared to the Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engine of the A380. This is because of the use of GE-9X engines and the use of carbon fiber wings, which make it light in weight. The Airbus A300 family uses different engines in different variants, which makes it harder for the airlines to maintain them and increases the maintenance costs as well. Also, the underfloor cargo capacity in 777-9 is 31% more than the cargo space available in A380s. Another reason for ordering Boeing passenger aircraft was the American aircraft manufacturing company's work to enhance the user experience. This includes bigger windows, better cabin pressure, improved cabin humidity, and a considerable reduction in cabin noise. However, despite a big purchase order from Boeing, the airline did not lose focus on the Airbus family either. Singapore Airlines made an announcement on December 15, 2021, that it had purchased seven Airbus A350F freighters to add to its fleet of 12 in-service freighters. The future of Singapore Airlines looks quite bright, as it has and continues to make timely decisions by investing in both the purchase of new aircraft and the renovation of the ones already present in its fleet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time.